What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So today I got some awesome stuff. I know I was telling you guys that I was gonna get something for the Audi soon, and here it is. By the title, you probably already know what I got, but look at those big old boxes. Let's unpackage these bad boys and see what we got. Sick. You go ahead and open these things up. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got some BMR wheels. Oh yeah. Nice box. VMR wheels. Very nice box. VMRwheels.com. Check them out if you want to find these particular wheels. So these are for my 2017 Audi S3. See how they look. Ooh, pretty lightweight, pretty lightweight. All right, you guys ready for this? You ready? Boom. There they are. Freaking sick. Hell yeah. yeah these are very nice. I like. So these are the VMR 810s in hyper silver. Um, the powder coat finish looks really nice on these. Wheels look super clean. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a ceramic coat on these, so look forward to seeing a video on that, guys. That'll probably be my next video out. Um, but man, these things look awesome. The lug pattern is drilled to the appropriate size for the Audi. Also, they machine the hub area, so you don't need any sort of hub centric rings or anything like that, as well as they machine this back piece so you can actually get custom offsets. So these are 19 by 85 plus 45s, and they look freaking good. Yeah, I'm gonna open up the rest of them, see if I got anything more in here. The wheel caps are on there, they look, very high quality. Um, it's nice that they put a label over those and those actually come on there. Unlike some wheel manufacturers, you actually have to order this individually, separately. So I was talking to Brandon at VMR Wheels and these things are looking awesome. He helped me out with the uh, specs for the wheels, let me know what would fit and like what other cars that I've seen on the website, what their specs were. So I'm gonna be running the stock Pirelli P0s. These are a 235, 35 R19. Um, these are a good tire, however, I did like one autocross event with these. You guys can see them. They're kind of tore up on the inside there. So, I went ahead and bought some NT01s to throw on the stock wheels. So those are gonna be my track slash autocross wheels for my wife and I. Also, if you guys don't know, I have the BMW E30, which I will still be doing autocross events in. However, this car is fun. Uh, my wife's been going out there and I don't always feel like driving two cars. It looks like I got a little goodie bag as well so that is cool oh cool got a uh, license plate frame so that's always good got a vmr wheels jet tag removed before flight got some vmr wheel stickers these are nice i always like uh the gray stickers because they're like they're really clean they kind of blend well and a lanyard vmr wheels lanyard awesome so as far as wheels go, uh, VMR has a lot of options. I like these ones in particular. I thought they looked pretty sweet. They really have that Euro look. Let me take this off. Let me take this off right now. We don't, we don't need no stinking uh, stuff right here. We don't need that. So I really like the A10s. I think it has that like really Euro look. I've seen this like on an S4, I think. And uh, I really like the way it looks. So I cannot wait to get these mounted up. Um, yeah, I gotta get these things mounted up to the car soon. So let me know what wheels you guys are running, guys. I would really like to know what wheel and tire setup you guys are running. So I'll be running the VMRs with the Pirelli P0s right here. And then I'll be running my stock wheels with the NTO ones. So real quick, let's get a weight on these wheels. I know you guys wanna know, how much does this thing weigh? All right guys, so all I have is a bathroom scale. So I'm just gonna set that thing to zero. Let us see, calculating, calculating, 22.2 pounds. We'll do that one more time just for consistency sake. 22.2, okay. Now the Pirelli P0, 235.35 with about 7,000 miles on it. The tire weighs 20.9, which is pretty average for a tire. 
So overall, that's 43.2 pounds per corner. When I balance the wheel on top of the tire, uh, that's how I got this reading right here, guys. I just kind of went like that and got the reading. But yeah, these are a uh, flow form construction and they're pretty lightweight for 19 by eight fives. Uh, my old, I had 18 by nine fives. I think those were right around 20. So, you know, this is a bit more uh, material that you have on here. And yeah, these things are gonna be great. I'm gonna get you guys a weight on my old setup with the NTO ones and the stock wheels. I have a feeling these are gonna be a lot lighter. Stock wheel weighing in at 51.9 pounds. So you are saving pretty close to uh, 10 pounds per wheel. It's pretty damn close, a little over uh, nine pounds. So awesome, that is a great difference there. Um, these factory wheels are pretty cool. I actually do like them quite a bit. They look better with some like chunky meat on them. Uh, definitely it's kind of like a downgrade going to back to the P0s after looking at you know all the meat here. So we may have to mix that up and uh, I don't know, maybe throw another set of those on there, who knows. So awesome, I'm super stoked to get these things on the car. Can't wait to go to the tire shop, get these things mounted up and take you guys on my journey. We'll talk to you guys soon, later and wrench on.